What's up all my devil dogs? It's your boy, Sean Ollie, Strength Corps Iron Five Star General. It's Motivation Monday, and what I wanted to talk to y'all today real quick about was prioritizing fitness, man. A lot of people lately I've been talking to, um, quite frankly, just don't have fitness as a priority for themselves. For instance, I work at a gym, you guys know that, for now anyway. And um, uh, there's a lot of people who come in and like they'll cancel their membership. You know, I had, I had a girl come in and she wanted to cancel because uh, her workout partner didn't work out with her anymore. And what that tells me is that she wasn't really serious from the get-go. If you gotta rely on somebody else, you know, in order for you to work out, then you probably weren't serious from the get-go anyway. And truth be told, you're probably gonna end up canceling anyway. Just like a lot of people when they come in, I'm like, hey, what's going on? What you working out today? You know, and they're like, I don't know. And I'm like, oh, you don't know, you know? What's the, what's the good old saying that we always say, man? If you don't plan to succeed, what do you plan to do? Plan to fail. Those are the same people that come in and they don't really have a structure to what they're doing and they kind of just come in and wing it. And well, those are the people who usually eventually cancel the membership and kind of give up on fitness because they're not seeing the results they want because they don't have any structure. You know? But besides the point, people don't see fitness as a priority because it's so easily thrown to the back burner. You know, as soon as people start having problems, or you know they have to like you know maybe work a little bit more. What's the first? What's one of the first things to go? Fitness. Ah, uh, I can't hit the gym today, man. I, I had to work late, or oh, I gotta do this, or I gotta do that. I'm not feeling well. I got problems. I just broke up. Whatever. It's always fitness is one of the first things to just go. Like it's just it's it's expendable. You know, people don't see it as something that's actually beneficial and something that in the long term is gonna help you health wise and save you money. I'm not trying to point out the females here. I'll point out the guys as well, but let's just say females, for example, all right? You can get a good membership. As much as I like to talk crap about Planet Fitness, Planet Fitness is better than nothing, okay? At least you can go in there and be active. It's not a gym for me, but it's a gym where at least you can go and get a decent workout. Same thing with UFIT. You gotta see me work out at UFIT a couple of times, you know? And I get great workouts there, and I can go in tents too. And that's $10 a month. You know, which is two fifty a week. Now, how many of you girls go out and get your eyebrows done, get your hair done, get your nails done? You know, all that stuff. You know, and while you're out, you know, get a little smoothie or whatever. You could have already paid for a month, maybe even two months worth of stuff. You know, worth of a gym membership, just doing all that stuff that you do. Same thing with guys. You want to go out and buy like a hundred dollar pair of shoes? Like, that's enough for a membership for ten months. You know what I mean? Like, but you can blow it on a pair of sneakers or blow it on some clothes or blow it on like, you know, some food you don't need or some, you know, device or whatever. You know, the, the little bit of money that you're investing is almost like investing in a car. Like, let's just say, for example, uh, I've used this example before. Your car runs on, uh, what is it? Uh, the highest level gas, whatever, like the highest 97, whatever it is in your area, the, um, the super great gas, right? And so you're like, uh, okay, my car's supposed to use a super great gas, but I'm using a regular gas. Yeah, okay, that's gonna be cool for a little while, but in the future, your car might start having issues because you didn't use the gas that it was supposed to be used. All right, well, as opposed to if you're paying a little bit extra, it's gonna get more life out of your car. It's the same thing with your body, man. If you invest that little 250 a week, you know, maybe that little however much it is, $7, a dollar a day if you're paying $30 a month or whatever, like, hey man that's a dollar a day towards your health or you're gonna pay thousands of dollars down the line when you have health issues so I just think that people don't you know prioritize fitness because it's the first thing to go to the back burner and we spend money on so many other things you know we just we burn and blow money so easily but when it comes to fitness why are we so like stingy with our money uh, I don't know if I want to buy training I don't know if I want to buy coaching I don't know if I want to buy a membership you know you don't even have to go to a gym you know, you can you can go and be active, play a sport, join an organization that's active. Do something like that, but don't put it in the back burner, man. We need to prioritize fitness. It needs to be a big part of your life. Not even a big part, but at least a part. You don't have to be like me and a lot of these other YouTubers who, you know, we work out six days a week, you know, and we count macros and all that. You don't even have to do all that. Eat, you know, good, healthy food, have your little cheat meal every week, and work out three to four times a week. And you, you'll be better off than I would say 80 to 90% of people who don't even do anything active. They just go to work, come home, go to sleep. 
you know, watch Netflix, eat crap, and then wonder why they're out of shape, you know? Be that person who stands out and at least goes to, you know, the gym or does something active and, you know, you, you live a healthy, fit lifestyle because that's gonna help you in the long run. And I think a lot of people forget that. A lot of people just see it as an extra expense instead of seeing it, they see it as an accessory and not a necessity. You know, fitness is something that's a necessity unless you want to have health issues in the future. So I just wanted to get that point across, guys, because for this week, I want us to focus on putting more of a priority on our fitness, man. Let's make better choices with our nutrition. Let's, you know, get in the gym maybe an extra day this week. You know, let's let's become people that others can look up to, you know, because you know what? A lot of people that you know, if you're inactive, you probably know a lot of inactive people. But if you start getting active, then you might be able to help them start getting active. And you know what? In the long run, that's gonna really help both of you. And you're gonna look back and say, you're glad that you started, all right? And it was all because of the five star, the iron five star general, Sean Nolly. He helped me by watching his Motivation Monday. So be sure to share the video, y'all, all right? Don't forget to order, subscribe and share, like and comment. So next time, my double dogs, dismiss. Triple beam dreams and drugs, schemes of mad cream Could be a sad scene when you go to that extreme